Welcome back. Welcome back. My name is Q Rowland. I am your business growth coach and your money mentor. Today, we're going to talk about are you going to jail for not paying that SBA EIDL loan? Let's talk about it. Make the money. Don't let it make you. Boy, oh boy, have I heard this question about jail so many times. So many of you are so afraid with this SBA EIDL. So let's go into jail and are you going to jail? What makes you go to jail and how to avoid jail? So first and foremost, let's let's tackle the last part. How do you go to jail? You go to jail by committing criminal acts. If you have not committed a criminal act, why would you go to jail? Applying for a loan and not paying it back is not criminal. It may not be morally right, but it's not criminal. There is no law that states if you get a loan and don't pay it back, you're going to jail. That just does not exist. It doesn't exist even for the SBA EIDL. But what does exist is jail time for those who may have had multiple applications, multiple addresses. If you provided false information on purpose, that's fraud. Therefore, that's something that possibly can come with jail time. But if you are a regular Joe Small and you apply for an SBA EIDL loan because your business was in trouble during COVID, that's not criminal. I just want to take the, the pressure off of you because I know many of you have asked this question. I just don't want to go to jail. I just don't want to go to jail. And you won't go to jail unless you've committed a crime. If you did everything that you were supposed to do, you provided information, you gave correct information, there's no reason for you to go to jail. The SBA is like any other creditor. When they give you money in a loan, they have the same rules as any other creditor. It's not simply because I didn't pay. That's not enough reason to be prosecuted. There's no law in the world that says that. So I want you to know, no, you are not going to go to jail if you did not pay your SBA EIDL loan. I just want to make sure you understand that. I want you to start thinking about the SBA like any other creditor, your Discover card, your American Express. If you decided not to pay, what's going to happen? They're going to put it on your credit. They may try to collect from you, those types of things. And the SBA is just the same. They are going to do the same types of things that any other creditor would do. The only time, again, that you will go to jail is if you provided false or fraudulent information. So, no, not paying is not a crime. I hope that eases your mind. If you need a one-on-one -on -one with me, check out my website at qrolling.com. We can go through it. We can talk about it. We can go over your personal EIDL loan. We can talk about whatever business needs you have. That's what I'm here for. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Turn on those notifications. What do I always say? Go make the money, but don't let the money make you. I'll see you soon.